Welcome to Jason on English. Let's look at adverbs of probability. Future chance. Future. What is the future? There are basically two kinds of future. Fixed future. We cannot change it or cannot control it. Flexible future. We can change it or we control it. For example, I can't control the weather. That is fixed future. I don't know the future, but the weather is something I cannot change. The weather is something I cannot control. My dinner tonight is flexible. I can change it. I control it. When I'm talking about the future, I should show a difference between fixed future and flexible future. Let's look at fixed future. The most common way to express fixed future is by using will. The sun will rise at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow. This is something I cannot control. This is something I cannot change. This is part of nature. This is an example of fixed future. If you do not study, you will fail the test. Well, this is also very natural. If you do not study, you will fail the test. I'm expressing fixed future here. I will have beef stew, please. When I tell the table server, I will have beef stew, now I give up my power to change this order. The kitchen staff will begin preparing my meal. When you make an order in a restaurant and you say, I will have blah, 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 you are making a fixed future. I will help you tomorrow, I promise. When you promise to do something, it is very difficult to change that. Of course, you can change it, but your friend will not like you anymore. When you make a promise, you are giving up the power to change that event. This is another example of fixed future. Using will in these cases means you give up the power or you do not have the power to change this event. These situations are impossible or very difficult to change. There is a way to make will more flexible. Probability When you have a feeling that a future event is true, you can use these adverbs. High feeling Definitely Definitely not. It will definitely rain tonight. It will definitely not rain tonight. You don't know the future, but using these adverbs lets you show your feeling about this event. Medium feeling. Probably. Probably not. It will probably rain tonight. It will probably not rain tonight. This shows a medium feeling. You don't know the future, but you have a medium feeling that this event is true. Low feeling. Possibly. Possibly not. It will possibly rain tonight. It will possibly not rain tonight. You don't know the future, but you're expressing a low feeling that this event is true. Let's practice. Bob will go to a movie on Sunday. Please make a sentence showing low positive feeling. Let's check it. Please repeat after me. Bob will possibly go to a movie on Sunday. Jim will buy a new car this year. Please make a sentence using high negative feeling.
Let's check it. Repeat after me. Jim will definitely not buy a new car this year. And will get married this month. Please make a sentence using medium negative. Let's check. Please repeat after me. And will probably not get married this month. Bob will eat pizza tonight. Please make a sentence showing medium positive. Let's check. Repeat after me. Bob will probably eat pizza tonight. Jim will change jobs next year. Please make a sentence showing high positive. Let's check it. Repeat after me. Jim will definitely change jobs next year. Anne will sell her house soon. Please make a sentence showing low negative. Let's check it. Repeat after me. Anne will possibly not sell her house soon. In all of these practice examples, you're showing that you don't know the future. You're showing that you have a feeling about the truth of the future. A high feeling, a low feeling, a medium feeling, a positive feeling, a negative feeling. But if you use will by itself or will not by itself, that is very strong. It's safer to use these adverbs. How about you? What adverb would you use? Make your own answer, then listen to my answer. Let's compare our feelings about our own personal futures. If we have different answers, that's okay. I will clean my home every day next month. What's your answer? Please make a sentence. Here's my answer. I will definitely not clean my home every day next month. I don't like cleaning. Every week? Maybe. Every day? No. Next. I will visit my hometown next year. Make your example. Here's my example. I will definitely visit my hometown next year. I live very far away from my hometown and from my family. I want to visit them more often, so this is my feeling. I will definitely visit my hometown next year. Let's try the next one. I will buy a pet in the near future. How about you? Here's my answer. I will definitely not buy a pet in the near future. I have a strong negative feeling about this. I want to have a pet, but I can't keep pets in my apartment. I don't have plans to move to a new apartment, so I'll use definitely not to express my feeling about this future. Next, I will. Read a book before sleeping tonight. How about you? Here's my answer. I will probably read a book before sleeping tonight. I keep books next to my bed, and I have things I can read on my tablet. I usually read something in bed before falling asleep. So I have a medium positive feeling. I will probably read a book before sleeping tonight. Next. I will go to the gym this week. How about you? Here's my answer. 
I will definitely not go to the gym this week. My reason? I'm not a member of a gym. I'm thinking about joining a gym, but now I'm not a member, so I can use a very strong negative feeling for this sentence. High negative. I will definitely not go to the gym this week. I don't know the future. This might change. I might suddenly join a gym, or my friend might suddenly invite me to go to the gym. This is only my feeling. I don't know this future, but my feeling now is a high negative. Next. I will make my own meals tomorrow. How about you? And here's my answer. I will probably make my own meals tomorrow. I live alone, so I usually make my own meals. I might give myself a treat. I might order a pizza or go to a restaurant. I can't say definitely, but I can use a, a medium positive in this case, I think. Next, I will talk to some friends this weekend. How about you? Here's my answer. I will possibly talk to some friends this weekend. I'm using a low positive to express my feelings about my future. Next. I will go to a party this Friday night. How about you? Here's my answer. I will probably not go to a party this Friday night. I don't know about any parties. I have not been invited to any parties. So I will give a medium negative. At the time I'm making this recording, it is a holiday season. I can't use strong negative, but I do have a negative feeling. So I'm choosing medium negative for this case. Next, I will buy new clothes this year. How about you? Here's my answer. I will probably not buy new clothes this year. I already have a lot of clothes. I don't need any new clothes. I don't have any plans to buy new clothes. So I'll use a medium negative in this case. Be careful. When you speak, be careful when you use will. When used alone, will is very strong. If I say will, it means this future is 100% true. If I say won't or will not, it means this future is 0% possible, 0% true. Will is very strong. If you do not know the future, make will more flexible. It is your choice which adverb to use. This is one way to show your personal feelings. If you like, please watch this video again and think about your future. Think about today, tomorrow, next week, next month, this coming year, next year. What events can you imagine? And how do you feel about them? Do you feel a high feeling, a medium feeling, a low feeling? Do you feel a positive feeling or a negative feeling? And practice making your own sentences using will plus these adverbs for probability. Thank you for watching.